Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some pretty cool designs on your grip tape with only a can of spray paint and maybe a piece of paper or cardboard. But first, you got to know how to grip your board. To grip your board you need grip tape and a skateboard and maybe something sharp. I use a knife. Some people use a razor blade, that's pretty common. I've even seen Tinky grip his board with a rock that he found on the ground. So let's get started. I like my grip tape with a cutout line on the nose. To do that, just set the grip tape next to the board and cut it wherever you think the line should be. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't really matter. If you want it to be a perfectly straight line, after you cut it, flip those pieces upside down so the straight edges face each other. You should only put grip tape on boards that you think are really cool, such as the 4141 skateboard I have right here. It's cool because the guy has a 40 ounce of malt liquor. So here I am, just kind of cutting off the plastic, getting it ready to be gripped. I already have my grip cut in two pieces. So I uh, peel off the grip, line it up where I want it to be. I don't know why I hit it with that screwdriver. I, I don't have no idea what I was doing. I used the, uh, the paper to kind of smoothen the top out, get all the bubbles out. And then I bend the edges over. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. I do the same thing with the other side. I think it's a good technique to use the, the paper that the grip came with to uh, kind of flatten down what's on top. See, I'm doing it right here. It's a, it's, it makes it easier if you don't have a like a roller. If you're in a skate shop, sometimes they have rollers or like a truck with one wheel that you can roll it on. But if you don't have that, say you're at a skate spot, it's easier to just uh, just use this. You know, pro tip. All right, once you got it gripped, check for some air bubbles. I don't have any air bubbles because I'm perfect. But if you had one, just grab your sharp object or even a screwdriver, stick it in, twist it around a couple times, and then smash the air out, and your air bubble's gone. Now it's time to file the edges. <laughs> You can use a screwdriver, I'm going to use the back side of the knife. The reason that we do this is to make it easier to cut around later and it also pushes the edges down to make sure that your grip tape doesn't peel up later. Pro tip, before you start cutting, fold these edges up and over gonna make it a lot easier trust me here I am uh, folding the edges back like I said my cutting was a little bit slow the knife I used had a lot of teeth on it instead of like a straight blade knife but I say if Tinky can do it with a rock then I can do it with a messed up knife if you don't take your time you get a little phrase like this that's fine easy to take care of just no more phrase simple solution I like to take the extra grip tape and sand down the edges. I don't know if it works, but it feels like it keeps the grip tape from peeling up, especially in hot weather. Should get a look like that. Now your board's gripped and ready for phase two. The first thing we're going to work on is going to be a pyramid. The reason I like to do these pyramids is because I live in Las Vegas and there's a hotel casino here called the Luxor. It's basically a pyramid with a beam of light that comes out the top. And uh, you can see it in every Las Vegas cityscape picture. If you've never heard of it, look up Luxor on Google Images. It'll make a little bit of sense. But you want to start with a right angle, maybe a piece of cardboard, cut it out, you know, however you want to do it. And then just kind of lightly spray the edges. There's no rush here. I'm kind of taking my time. And you don't want to make the whole thing completely white. But if you accidentally do, then you're going to need black, and you're going to have to do this piece in black if your whole thing comes out white. I do it kind of a light shade of white, so I don't really need black or anything. I just like to stay one color. One color on the board looks good. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of 3D. Give me a second here, and then I pick up the board, and you can really see what it's supposed to look like. I mean, that one came out pretty good. You might not get it on your first try. A lot of this stuff is pretty easy. It just takes a little bit of practice. Right here, I'm doing the, uh, the beam of light that comes out the top. And uh, pretty self-explanatory, just kind of put a straight edge on it and spray it. I mean, it's really not that, it's not rocket science here, guys. So that one came out pretty good. Now we're going to work on stars. Like pyramids, these are really easy to do. All these techniques are really easy. You can do uh, six-sided stars, eight-sided stars, ten-sided stars. And if you have the patience, go ahead and do a million-sided stars. I usually do six. It's easy, it's quick. I like the way they look. Like I said, you can do this fast, but I kind of take my time. Kind of a perfectionist. I want this to look really nice. I don't know why. You know, the board's going to break in a month anyways. Or maybe sooner if I'm really skating hard. But I don't know. I like to do this. I like to have my board stand out a little bit. 
And a lot of people ask me about these stars, and they say, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? And I used to kind of keep it a secret, but now I don't really care. I mean, it's just spray paint on a board. It's really not a big deal. Now, right here is one of the hardest techniques in painting. It's a uh, can top with a rock on top of it. You kind of spray the sides, and then it makes a, uh, I don't know, a half moon or an eclipse. I don't know what that is. And then we go back to another star. Just wanted to give you guys another angle. Just spray it, man. It's really not that hard. I like to take my time. You can do this a lot faster. You can get a whole board done in five minutes if you want. I just take my time. I like to go over my lines. And uh, right here, this is something that actually is a little bit hard. It might take you a couple tries to get it. It looks easy, you know, just put the can upside down and dap it down, but I don't know. It takes a little bit of getting used to. As you can see on the table below, I practiced a little bit. I went with five. I don't know what they are, like comets, rockets, or shooting stars, whatever you want to call them. I think they look really cool, and it's something that a lot of other people will mess up on if they haven't practiced it. If you get it right first try, you know, good job. And here's the uh, finished product. I'm going to be skating this tomorrow. I like it. I think it came out cool. So now you're finished. The only thing left to do is clean up and go to the skate park and show all your friends your new grip tape. Kuna Matata.